Yo, what is good, YouTube? We are back with another video. Uh, if you're not in the free Discord, go join it. It is the first link down below. But today's video is just going to be going over how to set up your Notion for a template, right? So if you want to have a Notion and you want it to like look laid out like this or something similar, you can add whatever you want to it. This is what I use. I'm going to start using Tradezilla here soon. But if you want your calendar to be laid out like this and then your list view to be laid out like this and then have your chart over here i'm going to go over exactly how to put everything in so yours can look exactly like this so the first thing you want to do is go to the notion website download the notion app and then you're going to open up something like this i don't remember what it looked like whenever i first downloaded it but it's going to open up something like this and what you want to do is go over here to private let me make this smaller so you can see the full screen there uh there so you're gonna get, you're gonna want to go over here to private, and you're gonna want to click this add page. So you click the add page, and it's gonna give you a blank page. And then what you want to do is click table, right? So it's gonna open this up, and what you're gonna want to do is you can delete all this, but keep the very first one, right? So if you want it to look like this, you're gonna want to go up here. You can label it journal. Oops, spelled that wrong. Spelled that wrong. Journal. And then I think you can rename this. Yeah, you can rename this to whatever you want. Uh, trade of eight, since that's pretty much the journal that I use, uh, trade on. And then this is going to be the screenshots of it. So what you want to do is go over here to name. So the first thing you want to do is I change this to the ticker or the product or whatever you want to call it. So you can have it labeled as that. And then you can move it over. I don't know if you yeah you can change the icon to the chart so that and then we'll say the first one is nq right so right here is the first ticker that we traded on now the next thing you want to do is we can use this for reference is if you want the date you can hit this plus symbol and then go down to date so now you have the date listed right so you can move that however small you want it and then you can click on thursday august 1st right so now we have the ticker the date and then the next thing you want to make is bias if you had a certain bias that you had so we can go down here to multi select and then click bias right and then what what you want to do is go to add options edit property add an option so if your bias was bullish you can click bullish and then click enter bearish boom and then the next uh, bias I have is s and profile so right there and then the next thing you can do is change these colors so if you want bearish to be red bullish to be green and then s and whatever color you want and then I have it uh, marked up like this I think and then you can click this and then it opens up a drop down so you can click I was bearish for the day right and then the next thing I like to do is have outcome add option W or L right so win or loss right and I'm just abbreviating these I actually have everything typed up but right there win or loss so let's say that we lost this trade and then I think I have this labeled as yeah I have it labeled as select so next thing you can do is direction oops go back down to multi select click direction add option short or long boom you can change this back to green and red and I like to have this over here so let's say that we went against our bias so we longed it took an L and then contract size is the next thing I like to have because I want to know how many contracts I took so you can either use text for this or multi select I probably use text but I do have it listed as multi select so I'm probably gonna change that back to select so contracts there and then you can put in two contracts two contracts like that so now we are getting our template laid out right so we have all this next thing I have is P&L so text you're gonna to want to go down here to text not number because it removes the dollar sign so text P and L and then we can say that we 
minus $244. And then the next thing you're want to, gonna wanna do is have your chart. So you wanna go down here to URL, click on that, and then you can label this as chart. And then you're gonna wanna go to your uh, trading view and then hit the little icon to copy image. So let's actually open up trading view and I will get this loaded up in a second. So we'll go here. Let me get the screen recording over onto trading view. Uh, settings, gold. So right here, once you're on trading view, you're gonna wanna go over here, click this camera, copy link, and then go back to Notion. So let's go back to Notion. And then you're gonna wanna enter in the chart right there. And then you have, once you click on this, it'll open up a tab into your uh, browser and then open up the chart that you had everything marked up on and have it as the chart. So right here is the exact thing that I have. Now, if you wanna use uh, multi-select and click um, confluence, confluences, and then have like edit property, add option, fair value gap, liquidity, sweep, uh, breaker, um, order block, soup, whatever you want to do. And then you can, uh, whatever confluences you had, you can list them all right there. Boom. So whatever else you want to add, you can go into the plus or plus right here, I mean, and then add whatever else you want to add. Now, the next thing, if you want the calendar as well, is you're going to want to go to here and then click calendar, right? So right here we have our NQ. Now, the next thing you want to do is what all do you want to have be seen on here? Uh, where is that? Oh, yes, first I have everything labeled right there. Now, prop, you're okay. You're going to want to go up to here to these three dots, go to properties. And then you're going to want to click on what you want to be shown on this calendar, right? So if we want our bias to be shown, confluences to be shown, contracts, and then P&L and outcome. Right here, it will list all of that right there. Then you can click on it. And then if you want to have a journal right here, uh, we swept liquidity, formed a CISD, looked to be a soup, but I went against my bias. And then you can get out of here. And then every time you go back to look at this, you'll have everything labeled out, why you lost and or why you won, and then all the information right here. So right here, easily, easy, boom, right? So it looks the exact same as this right list view right here list view here boom calendar here right go to july calendar and then calendar right that's how easy it is to make a notion template now i'm probably going to move over to trade zella here soon but i mean this is very simple to use so right now i'm okay with it but yeah, if you had trouble setting up your Notion template, right here is an easy way to do it. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Join the free Discord if you're not in it. And I hope to see you in there. Come talk, come chat, come trade, baby. I'll see you in another video. Peace.